Hi, Leanne Donaghy Tamplin here. Today I'm interviewing Simone O'Brien. Simone is a survivor of horrific partner violence and she's now a passionate advocate for all survivors of domestic abuse. She's a motivational speaker in schools, workplaces and community settings and she's working with agencies, organisations and individuals across Australia to try to reduce the incidence of domestic violence in our country. I know you'll get a lot out of this interview with Simone O'Brien. So Simone, can you tell me a bit about your background and some of those challenges that you've overcome? Um, I've been a domestic violence survivor, um, but prior to that, uh, my background, I knew nothing about domestic violence. Um, mother of three children, love sport, um, and yeah, my, life, my world changed when I obviously met a perpetrator and he didn't like hearing no for an answer. Yeah. And did the, was the violence happening throughout the relationship or was that something that happened after you broke up or what? Yeah, no, no, no violence. Um, I felt, I, you know, as in I felt really comfortable um, yeah. with the perpetrator, never swore at me. You know, yeah. obviously never raised a fist, um, never back chatted or yelled at me. Right. Um, it was, little red flags that um, yeah. were growing inside of me made me feel sick in the tummy. And they were yeah. minor. They were only yeah. like deleting texts out of my phone, yeah. money going missing out of my wallet. So, yeah, um, right. yeah. and that was just in nine months um, right. that those red flags grew for me. Yeah, yeah right. And so were there, and I, you know, I, was there um, a year, years of process or months of process for your recovery? How long yeah. were you in? Like I'm actually, um, as I speak today, which is just over six years, I'm I'm still going through the uh, the process, and I I say that I'm a prisoner in my own body for the rest of my life. Um, you know, 51 operations, and I've still got one to go. But wow. I suppose the operation side of it is the easy side to me. It's it's my jaw, it's my eye, it's the the plastics team. It's um, right. you know, if I, if I don't have jaw treatment. I can't eat so that that's what I mean like it's 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 a lifetime thing for me um right and that's where I do fly to Brisbane um I'm right. situated back in Victoria but I fly to Brisbane every 10 days for treatment so yeah and can I ask um has there ever been a time when you've wanted to give up has it ever felt too hard to you keep going the, um because it takes me even just at home it, it generally it takes me an hour to and I say dress up in an hour at night to dress down. That's not in just to, to get dressed in clothes. That's to do my, my wounds and treat my body. Um, because I, I've just had that, um, that positive thought that what I do today will, will be with me in 10 years. If I don't do it today, I'll regret it in 10 years. So yeah, you know, right. I look in the mirror um, some days and I think, oh, why me? You know, why mm -hmm. me? But um, I, I've turned everything. No, I haven't had any depression or anything. I've, right. I've turned it everything. Um, even if there's a setback, I turn it into a positive. And um, right. each and every day I, I say to myself three things is um, stay positive, never give up and keep smiling. And to be honest, I think that's what's made my life turn around. And Any of those things that have... Um, I suppose definitely, cur definitely courage um, and... Um, and um, you know, if something does go wrong, as I said, I, I turn it into a positive. You know, if an operation, they say, oh, you know, this is your last operation, but then they say, oh, no, I'm sorry, you've got to have one more. I take that as a positive line because it's only it's only um, helping me out. It's yeah. um, getting more benefit for myself than if I didn't have it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I suppose the, the self-belief, you know, I... Um, I I, I believe in myself in the direction I'm going and, mm -hmm. um, you know, making that change. And, you know, I suppose one one thing that I've, I've learnt about myself is prior to this, um, I didn't love and respect myself, but um, I, I, knowing I look weird, I, I absolutely love and respect myself now. Yeah, right.